Hello everyone, I welcome you back to my YouTube channel Legum Sessions. I hope you all are doing good, staying safe at your home during this COVID-19 situation. Now in today's video, we are going to discuss about the recent order which has been passed by the government of India about blocking 59 Chinese applications which includes very famous applications like TikTok, Cam Scanner, Zender, etc. So here we will basically discuss as to from where the government of India or the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has referred to its powers to pass such kind of orders. So we will take into consideration the Information Technology Act of 2000 along with the Information Technology Procedure and Safeguards for Blocking of Access of Information by Public Rules of 2009. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, while taking its decision, it has taken into consideration the information which was available to their ministry that such kind of applications are engaged in certain activities which are completely prejudicial to the sovereignty and integrity of India, to the defense of India, and also they are hampering the security of state and public order. Apart from that, the ministry has also taken into, into consideration the recommendations which have been made by the Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center, Ministry of Home Affairs, for blocking these malicious applications. Also, it has taken into consideration the representations which have been made by the computer emergency response team, stating that the security of data and breach of privacy is impacting the public order and issues and finally the ministry also says that there has been a strong chorus in the public space to take strict action against applications that harm India's sovereignty as well as the privacy of our citizens also now we will discuss a very landmark judgment of the Supreme Court that was Shreya Singhal versus Union of India now in this case two provisions of the IP Act were challenged one was section 66a and second was section 69a now section 66a was completely struck down by the supreme court on the grounds that it was violative of the fundamental rights under article 19 1a of the indian constitution which provides for the freedom of speech and expression but on the other hand if we talk about section 69a firstly we will understand that what were the main grounds of challenge against this section now there were three important grounds on the basis of which this particular section was challenged firstly it said that there is no pre-decisional hearing afforded by the rules particularly to the originator of the information secondly that the procedural safeguards such as which are provided under section 95 and 96 of the code of criminal procedure are not available here and thirdly that the confidentiality provision affects the fundamental rights of the people as well now finally with the reference to section 69a of the id act the supreme court held that this section is completely valid in nature it said that before any kind of uh, blocking can be done the proper procedures as specified under the it rules of 2099 they are completely followed it also said that when the central government is completely and sure it is completely satisfied only then such kind of blocking orders are passed and also it said that such kind of blocking orders are always recorded in writing also it specified that if we refer to rule 8 of the it rules of 2009 it specifically and clearly indicates that before any such kind of blocking orders are passed under section 69a of the it act a proper committee has to be constituted then this committee will afford an opportunity of being heard to the intermediary and also if the originator of the information can be found even an opportunity of hearing is afforded to him and only when the committee is after hearing both all the parties is completely satisfied only then it will pass such kind of blocking orders so each and every kind of procedural safeguard is provided and it is always and always taken into consideration 
Also, the Supreme Court held that if we refer to Section 95 and 96 of CRPC, they only provide certain additional safeguards. And just because these additional safeguards are not provided under the IT rules of 2019 does not mean that the entire section or such kind of rules are not valid in nature. So, this, so in this way, the Supreme Court finally upheld the validity of Section 69A of the Information Technology Act of 2000. So having said that, now the main question before us is that whether the recent order which has been passed by the government regarding blocking of 59 Chinese application, whether that has been passed after following all the procedural safeguards as given under the information technology rules of 2009 or not. Now here, the order that has been passed, it is passed by virtue of the provisions under Rule 9 of the said Information Technology Rules. Now, Rule 9 specifically provides for the passing of the interim orders for blocking. Now, such interim orders for blocking are only passed in the emergency situations. So, when there are such kind of situations where an opportunity of delay cannot be afforded at any cost, in those cases, the Secretary of the Department of Information Technology he can pass an interim order for blocking of the applications and that is exactly what is done in this situation. So even without affording an opportunity of being heard to the uh, various uh, parties, even then such kind of interim orders for blocking can be passed. But this does not mean that the procedural safeguards as given under the information technology rules will not be followed. Still, the matter or the applications which have been blocked, they will be given an opportunity to present their respective versions before the committee. The committee will consider whether it is justifiable to block these applications or not and will give its recommendations in writing. Then these recommendations will be given to the Secretary of the Department of Information and Technology. He will consider these recommendations and, taking, and then he will pass a final order as regard to the approval of the same. So, the final order is yet to be passed by the Secretary of the Department of Information and uh, Technology. So, if in case the request for blocking is not approved, then the Department of Information and Technology in their final order, then the interim blocking direction will be revoked. So, it is just the interim order for blocking which has been passed, an opportunity of hearing to all the parties, that is to the intermediaries and even to the originator will definitely be given because you cannot compromise on the principles of natural justice so this was all about uh, this video video if you liked it then do like share and subscribe to my channel legum sessions thank you